What is up? Welcome to the 11th PHP tutorial. I'm afraid I'm always going to say Python. Anyway, um, building off a of switch, I forgot to mention one more thing. You could have um, multiple cases. So you could say like case one, like let's say we got rid of Johnny. And we could say case one, and then you could have um, a semicolon, and then you could do case uh Johnny like that so you could theoretically have um, like multiple cases let me put that right there so let's save this so we save that pop on over and we'll refresh and you can see case one is called so you can you can like if you're gonna echo or or usually what you're going to do is, you know, perform some code. So if you're going to perform the same code, whether it's case uh, one or case Johnny, then you can just do this and save yourself some lines. I just forgot to mention that, so there it is now. So now you really know everything there is to know about uh, switches. So now let's discuss something a little more fun, and that's going to be arrays. Now an array is just like a, it's a variable and it's got multiple elements saved to that variable and then what you can do is reference just one of the elements at a time or maybe like a span of those elements, like the first 20 elements of that array and so on. And uh, the arrays within uh, PHP, there's actually um, three different types of arrays so I'm just gonna do the first one here and then we'll do the next ones next but there is just like a typical what you would think of as an array where it's just like a one-dimensional it's just it's you define a variable and then you define a bunch of quote-unquote I would say parts to that variable which can be referenced um, next though there are associative arrays where you define the array and then you define the parts of the array and then you define like a part of that part basically or you give a value to that part if you have any idea about uh, Python it's it's uh, quite similar to a Python dictionary where you have the you know the defining of the dictionary would be the definition of the array then you've got you know part one which would be the key and then part two is the value and um, they're even referred to as the same things within like keys and values in PHP so if you understand dictionaries you'll understand associative arrays and then finally you have the ability to have like a multi-dimensional array so in theory you could almost make like a database out of a multi-dimensional array that's like it's like a spreadsheet practically um, so anyway uh, we'll get into each of those and really like the purposes of each of those but for now let's just do a typical array so we'll just say a typical array equals and to define an array you literally uh, write out array and then you have uh, parentheses and within the array you specify the things within the array so we'll just uh, we're gonna have uh, four parts to this array and we'll just say oops part part one then we'll say part two part three and part four semicolon remember in those now uh, to show you what you can do with um, an array is if you call what happens when we call a typical array and spell it correctly Save, pop on over here, refresh, and we actually got. An, uh, oops, sorry. We, let's 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 uh, let's echo it. Save, refresh, and you see we get this like it just says array, <laughs> and so you kind of want to know like okay, well what's in here? So now we're gonna run on back to uh, print the print function, and within the print function you have print r, and this would be a time to use print r. Now, print r is exactly that. It's a function. So within the function, you put the what you want to apply that to. So you'll put the actual uh, variable in here. Now, this is really more so you can like visualize as you code, but it's still pretty useful. Um, 
to print it out from time to time. So anyway, you can use print underscore R, and when we refresh, now you're presented with a more um, visually appealing one. Like it tells you the zeroth element applies to one, the first element two, the second element three. And so yeah, if you're not familiar with uh, ordering within uh, programming, the first element is classified as zero, the second element one, and so on. But it starts at zero, not at one. So that's your typical um, your typical array. And then what you can do with this later on is you can call specific parts. Like let's say you want to just oops, not all caps, echo, and then you typical array, and you want to just reference like a one of the elements within here, you can reference element zero or something like that. And so we'll save this and we'll run this and we'll see uh, what it spits out at us. And it spits out part one because it spits out the zeroth element, which is part one. Now, uh, in a pretty future video or pretty near future video, um, I'll be showing you kind of one of the main benefits to an array. In my um, experience, using arrays is most useful um, to use an array with a for loop, or rather, if it's in PHP, a for each loop. And you, you, you run through, like for each element in this array, do uh, this. And with an array, you can actually um, append, remove whatever items from the array. It's a mutable uh, list. Uh, but we'll get in more into that later on. Um, but for now, this is just a typical array. If you want to uh, append something to this array, it's really quite simple. Um, you just define, say like as you, as you saw before, we called it by typing typical array and then put something in, in the square brackets. You can do this by going typical array and you see we have a zero, one, two, three. So we can say the fourth element in this array equals, um, well, it would only make sense for us to say part five. Um, and now let us, let's print out the full one now. So we'll say print R and we want to do this to typical array. Save that, pop over here, refresh. And as you can see, it actually added that part to our array. So that's how you'll add to arrays. So that's a typical array. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.